Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. If you are new here, I am coming to you live. Well, this video is edited, but in my time, uh, from an impromptu day off because of a fucking hurricane in Southern California. So, first of all, I'm talking quietly because I'm filming this rather early in the morning because I'm trying to get it done before it gets worse outside. Though I will say, I was in here for like, you know, an hour getting ready for the day, drinking some coffee, fucking planning my day, getting ready for filming. And it was like cloudy, obviously, and a little rainy, but like not super dark. And of course, right when I turn on my lights and turn on my camera to start filming, it gets super dark outside. Shockingly, it doesn't actually look bad, but to put it into perspective, there's a big window right there. I haven't even showed this video yet, but we're going there. To put it into perspective, there's a big window right there. And on a normal day when I film, I have my lights on, obviously, uh, but the blinds have to be open, but like pointed away from me. So like the, the lights pointed this way. Um, I have the blinds like open and slid over so that I can get as much light in here as possible beginning of the video apologies if the lighting in here gets a little wild i'm really hoping that the fucking power doesn't go out while i'm doing this because that would be a nightmare obviously my camera runs off of batteries but um my lights don't actually i think i have batteries for those lights i just don't know if they're charged we'll find out i'm gonna shut up and stop rambling i want to do makeup for a metal show clearly not going to a metal show tonight but originally, in my mind, it had actually worked out to overlap the filming of, of this to go with a show we were going to, are going to, but then everything kind of got restructured. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I want to do makeup for a metal show. I want to show you guys how I would do my eye makeup for that, my cheek makeup, also maybe some little tips and tricks to make your makeup last through like a whole metal show. Why not? I thought that would be fun. So come hang out with me, hang out through a hurricane. <laughs> and if you guys wanna see some makeup for a metal show, then just keep on watching. There's a gutter right outside that's getting just enough, it's like not actually actively raining at the moment, but there's a gutter outside that's getting just enough like liquid going through it that I can hear the water just going tap, 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 tap. It's gonna drive me up a fucking wall. Okay, so. I am going to start out with the About Face Line Artist Liner. This is in the shade Into the Void. It's their black one. And I'm going to start out by doing a little smoky liner situation. So when I do this, I like to just start by just kind of roughly placing a line. And then I'm going to take my finger and just smudge. I'm not too worried about like the outside or anything like that. Like I just want the general vibe, you know? And then I'm just gonna kind of start slowly building it out. And every once in a while, I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of smudge it around. So I was actually originally planning to put this video up in October. But the logic behind it was in October, we are going to go see Sleep Token on a Tuesday, Thursday, something. We're going to go see Sleep Token down in San Diego, which is much closer to us. And then a couple days later, we are turning around and driving up to LA to go see Bad Omens. And I know for a fact the Bad Omens show day, I'm gonna be off work that day because, well, frankly, um, I have to drive all the way to LA. So, you know, my original plan was that I would do my makeup for the show with you guys on camera and put the video up then. And by the way, I'm not worried about like precision, anything like that. I just want it smudgy and on there. When I decided to go up to three videos, um, three videos a week, I also realized that I was like a little bit farther ahead on filming than I thought that I was. So I ended up moving this video up and I was just like, whatever, I'll just, I still want to film it because I feel like it would be a fun video to film. And we make up for a metal show, except I'm not going to a metal show tonight. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be completely fucking honest with you. Um, 
I wouldn't be going to a show tonight even if I had tickets because like hurricane I mean I'm being over dramatic it's a tropical storm now but like this is also the first tropical storm that's hit Southern California in my lifetime and I'm 31 almost 32 so <laughs> I'm, I'm allowed to be a little bit dramatic about it and also let's not pretend like our infrastructure is set up for this <laughs> even remotely and I say that however if it was sleep token bad omens I'd brave the fucking hurricane for it to be honest with you but also my guess is that uh <laughs> they would be rescheduled so the wind hasn't kicked up yet though and that's the that's the concerning part okay so now that I have my very rough very smudgy little wings on I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette because it has the perfect tones and this is hands down one of my favorite black shadows. It's insanely pigmented. And I'm gonna start out with a little angled liner brush and go into the black shade Temptress and just start kind of roughly. Again, not really looking for perfection here because I'm still gonna blend and smudge. Also, I do just wanna point out that I'm, I, I am convinced that despite the fact that San Diego County has not had a hurt well Southern California in general but San Diego County where I live has not had a hurricane since like I think it was like 1858 or some shit like that at some point within my lifetime I'm gonna end up experiencing an actual hurricane with the way these oceans are warming up there's no way it's not gonna happen see at least I got them pretty even that's all that matters but I'm not too worried about like the undersides right now because I'm gonna end up cleaning it up to sharpen it up and then I'll touch it up later Okay, next up, I'm gonna take this tiny smudger brush and I'm gonna go into this red shade right here, living my best, and I'm gonna start smudging out this black. Also, I think quite literally the worst part about this impromptu day off that I'm having <laughs> is that it's a Sunday for me and I always work Sundays. It's the one day that I work by myself. We're open from nine to five and like, sometimes it's pretty crazy and like it's a little hard to work by myself but more often than not it's rather slow and I get some like alone time and I can just vibe and do whatever I need to do without you know having to account for anyone else besides customers that occasionally come in um so I quite actually like working by myself it's a nine to five shift which is like that's so standard right but typically my shifts are like 11 to 7 a nine to five is, you know, several hours earlier. And like, I don't film content on most Sundays. Some Lately I've been waking up way earlier than usual. So sometimes I do, but more often than not, I like, I don't film content. Like I literally just get ready pretty quickly and I go to work, right? Um, but most of the time I am rather tired when I get to work at 9 a.m. cause it's much earlier than usual. Uh, except for a couple weeks ago, I had my alarm set for seven so that I could get up and I could, you know, do the whole lay in bed, have the existential crisis about whether or not I want to do this and then get up and get ready for work. And my first alarm went off at seven and I was like, I'll wake up with the next one at 7.15. It'll be fine. And then my next alarm went off and I was like, I'll wake up the next one at 7.30. It'll be fine. Well, my last alarm just like never went off and I have to leave for work like to get there on time no later than like 8 40 like and that's pushing it and I woke up at 8 20 because I got a text message just a random notification on my phone and in my half asleep brain I was like well let me check this text message and then I'll just like lay here until my alarm goes off and it'll be fine and then I looked at the clock and I was like fuck and so I like shot up out of bed and literally ever since then on a day that I have like an alarm set I am up with the first alarm and like ready to go and because of that and the that same week that that happened I um had a couple like 7 a.m shifts that week so I was like I was up super fucking early that week and that week just like reset my brain and now I automatically wake up no later than 7 a.m. usually sometime between 5 30 and 6 30. and i woke up this morning at like just before six and i was like i'm off today i'm not doing this 
and I let myself go back to sleep and I woke up at fucking 7 10 and I was like so the one day I don't have to be up at 7 10 I'm just up at 7 10 of course all right next up I'm gonna take this like kind of small but loose fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the shade love handles and just use that to soften the vibe you know soften everything up a little bit so yeah the one day that I could have you know slept in and enjoyed a Sunday off because I don't get those very often I also like don't really drink coffee anymore I don't know why I just kind of stopped drinking coffee I still consume an egregious amount of caffeine but I think it has something to do with the fact that like like a soda as unhealthy as it is also has like sodium in it and stuff like that so it helps with my pot symptoms whereas coffee is you know coffee and creamer which doesn't have sodium in it or at least not a significant amount maybe just a little bit for like flavoring but I was like you know what this morning I want coffee and now I think I might be back on a coffee kick <laughs> So I don't really care that I'm kind of going over everything and lightening up that red and lightening up that black because I'm gonna go back in and re-intensify all of it. I just wanna get everything like pretty well blended. And again, I don't care about what's going on out here. I'm gonna clean all that up. I just care about the blend getting blended. And then last but not least, well, for the mattes, for now, I'm gonna go in with my brow setting powder and my brow setting brush and I'm just gonna run this over the rest of it and kind of over the whole thing. Cause after this, like I said, I'm gonna go back over it all and re-intensify. This is just gonna make sure everything looks really smooth. Like look at the difference between those two. Like yeah, that lost some vibrancy, but it also looks much more blended. <laughs> but I do need to make sure that I set down the rest of the primer that's like in, in this space right here, so. Now that I've gone darkest to lightest, I'm just gonna go lightest to darkest and just, vaguely re-intensify everything that I just blended away and when it comes to re-intensifying the black I'm just going to use my smudgy brush rather than going in with the angled liner so it still kind of keeps it diffused and I'm not picking up a ton when I do this I'm just kind of very lightly tapping my brush in and using one tap to pretty much do one whole eye but I definitely don't want this like perfect I want it kind of smudgy and messy and grungy and all that and then I want just a little bit of glitz so I'm gonna go in with the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter that I've been using as a cream shadow this is in the shade kitten super sheer and soft and I'm just gonna kind of lightly tap it above and up into my crease that's just gonna give a little bit of a pop okay so that's where we're gonna start I'm gonna go clean up underneath my eyes and kind of sharpen this out a little bit. Um, I might put a little bit of liquid liner right along the lash line just to make sure that everything's nice and sharp and defined right there. I'm gonna do my base off of camera, but I do just wanna point out that my best advice is to use a gripping primer. So this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. It's the one I'm gonna be using today. Um, but you just wanna use something that's gonna really grip your makeup on while you're in this warm, hot, sweaty venue. Um, I'm also going to use a more mattifying foundation. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Blur foundation. And yeah, I'm gonna go do all of that and I will be right back. Okay, so I did kind of blunt out the edges for now. When I go to do my under eyes, I'll kind of sharpen it up a little bit. But for cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. Granted, I do this literally every single day, but this is definitely the kind of time where I would want to start with cream cheek products and then set them with powder cheek products because it's gonna make sure that that is gonna last as long as possible. So I'm gonna bronze up my forehead and I'll clean up that little harsh line in a minute. And I'm gonna bring a little bit of the bronzer down into my temples and then quickly just clean that up. And then for cream blush, I'm gonna use the Melt Cream Blush Lights in the shade Sandy Cheeks. And I'm gonna also take that up into my temple. So the little swirly part of the hurricane has completely dissipated by now, but you know how on like a radar, it goes from like green to yellow to red. Um, 
over us. It's green at the moment and it goes all the way up to LA and probably past, but that was as far as I zoomed out. And it, as the day's going on, it's gonna, you know, slowly the rest of it's gonna come up and it's gonna get like yellow with a little bit of red, but like LA is gonna get fucking pounded. <laughs> For powder blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Flower Pots blush in the shade Spiced Petal. The way the lighting is in here, like it looks fine on camera, but the way the lighting is in here, in my mirror, it's like dead ass kind of hard to see this side of my face. It's actually easier to see it up on my viewfinder than it is like in person. I went a little heavy with that, but that's fine. And then for powder bronzer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkiss. Okay, and then I'm gonna go set down the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, have my whole face set and I'm gonna finish up my under eyes. So I'm gonna start out with my little angled liner brush into Temptress. And I'm just going to touch up this outer edge and kind of start to smoke out my lower lash line. By the way, I was watching a little bit of news coverage while I was not filming but doing my makeup. And uh, this is actually the first tropical storm to make landfall in Southern California in 84 years. So not just in my lifetime, but in my parents' lifetime and in my grandma's lifetime. So... And then I'm gonna take my little smudgy brush and I'm gonna go into Live In My Best, but I'm gonna pick up just the tiniest amount. I want the lower lash line to be more black heavy than anything, but I do need a little bit of something to just soften these edges. And then last but not least, taking that same brush that I used for Love Handles, again, picking up the tiniest amount and really pointing my brush up. So I only have a small portion of the bristles actually touching my face and I'm just kind of lightly softening it just a little bit. Okay, and then for blush topper, I'm gonna go in with the Nabla Skin Glazing, actually, actually this is the highlight, in Truth. And then really quick, because I forgot to do this earlier, I'm gonna grab my Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder and I'm just going to add a small amount of glow to like the high points of my forehead, my nose. I don't know why I like it between my brows even though that's not a high point, but whatever. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use the Revlon Skin Lights Highlight in Daybreak Glimmer. And I am focusing this more on like the apples of my cheeks and kind of just like lightly fluffing it back. I'll put a little bit up here. And then for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use the same one, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take it up above where I just put that black, like in this little pocket, and just a smidge right beneath. And that'll kind of too help sharpen up this area just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face. Like I said, I'm gonna put some rhinestones on as well, but I'm gonna go do all of that off of camera and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. For my lips, I actually started out with the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Cinnamon Statement, just to kind of warm this lipstick up because it is rather cool toned. But I wanted to use this lipstick, which is the NYX Smooth Whip matte lip cream and the reason why is because it is incredibly long lasting so I wanted to just kind of warm it up a little bit with the lip liner um but this lip would stay on all fucking night so that's what I wanted right another alternative for lipsticks would be something like the Maybelline vinyl ink lipstick which is going to be also incredibly long lasting that one is also really easy to touch up if you need to but this is the final look um, I love it. I feel like I'm a little overdone for a hurricane in which I'm not leaving my house, but it is what it is. <laughs> Storm update if you're fucking curious, even though, again, you're seeing this like a month later. Um, it's still raining. It's progressively getting darker and the wind has kicked up a bit, a little bit. Um, it's like 
11 a.m. my time. Uh, I think the real like serious portion of it's supposed to be at, like two-ish. So got a little bit of time, a little bit of, you know, I don't know. And that is going to wrap up the rest of this video. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite type of music is. I would love to hear all about it. Please subscribe if you have not already. And by the way, if you are a lover of metal music and just like the scene in general, definitely check out my history of bands video. I already have one out and it is for Bad Omens. And in a couple videos, I will have another one out as well. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.